All right, hey everybody, it's Allie here, and I thought I would just do an introductory video into a new series I've got going on, so let's get straight into it. All right, so hey there guys, my name's Allie, and I thought today I could do a planner series. I could start it off doing a little bit of an introductory video. I like to upload on the weekends, and because I have Saturdays off, and that's also tend to when I have my paycheck come in at the moment. <laughs> um, my budgeting side of my planning is going to be a little bit all over the place because I got trips and stuff going on. So we're going to try and work with it. All right. We're going to try and work with it. Summer is a busy time for everybody. So you know how it is. You guys know how it is. I've been on YouTube for a few years now. Um, I've been mainly just like a gaming channel, but it wasn't really gaming. I mean, you know how you are when you're a kid and you're just... I want to be a famous YouTuber! Um, so yeah. Um, I thought I'd do planning videos to start off with because, for one thing, I love budgeting, I love planning, I love organizing. This is like my perfect cup of tea, so. And I thought I could do like weekly or bi-weekly check-ins, chick chickens? <laughs> check-ins and monthly stuff and all that kind of fun stuff, so. Yeah, I am getting paid this Saturday, and I'll probably be cashing the check on Monday, which I am also have a day off there on Monday, so you're going to see, like, my budgeting that day. Today, I'm just going to show you my actual way that I plan and what I'm getting into here, because I just started th this new thing. Um, my life's all over the place, and I'm trying to organize it, so we're going to put everything into one spot. I should have a budgeting video up here soon, but for right now, we're just doing an introductory video and sort of like a June check-in yeah, will. All right. So this is my planner. It's a Yobai binder. I know a lot of people like to use like Erin Condren books and everything, but I like handwritten stuff. I like the fact that with a binder, I can pull it out, put it back in. I know you can kind of do that with the Erin Condren books. I like something that I've completely done myself, you know? I like the rough and tough. Um, I like being able to personalize it, kind of like a sketchbook and everything. And so I can put anything I want in here, even graph paper and such. And I don't really like writing out on pre-printed papers, like with pre-printed lines and everything, because I like to use whiteout and stuff because I make a lot of mistakes and it just doesn't look right. I don't, I'm sorry. If I'm going to, like, fix mistakes and stuff, I want everything to be rough and tough, not just like, all oh, everything's perfect, and then there's a pencil mark over here, you know what I mean? All right. Talking a little fast, but we're trying to get right into this video because I've already tried recording this before and... It's getting kind of late and I just got called into work in a couple hours, so. I'm using a Yobai or Yobai binder here. It's blue. I know I can get matching items on Target.com. Uh, I got this binder at Target, actually, and I bought it for a couple reasons, which I'll show you in a moment, but I don't normally go to Target because Target's in the next town over for me, so I'm going to be getting some things to match this, but I'm going to have to get it off online. If you were to flip to the back here, it shows like a little label right here, Yobai, 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 I don't know what the heck it's called. <laughs> gives, which means every single time you make a purchase, they'll give a donation to someone in need of the equal or lesser value of that item for, like, school supplies and stuff, so that's pretty darn cool. Um, I figured I can go ahead and open it up here and show you guys what I got. Um, I'm currently using this little bag for all my supplies, like, all my pens and stuff. It's a little Clinique bag. I'm planning on getting a Yobai, or Yobai, <laughs> I think it's Yobai, um, because it's like you buy, you be gives. Um, thing to match for all my pens and pencils and stuff. It'll be a little bit easier to carry. So um, here I got my index. As I said, I like everything handwritten. You get messed up. You know how it is. So everything's going to be a little messy in here. I'm planning on making a little portfolio page of some kind. Right here, like a laminated sheet and decorating it and personalizing it. Because I really want to make this binder mine. And something I genuinely want to come back to and write in all the time. Because... Your binder is supposed to be you. Your like your planner is supposed to be you. It's very you centered. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so right here, as you can see, I got the index going. I'm not listing off like month of June, month of six month goals and everything. This is just general pages that are gonna stick in the binder for a very long time that I have on here. And yeah, I just labeled them by pages. Um, anything that's getting written down here on here on the actual index is just something that's gonna be here forever. I'm going to be taking out the monthly budgets and everything like that all the time. And it's going to be constantly changing out. So anything that's like here almost permanently is going to be on the index. Um, on the key, which is just like kind of taped down, which I'm going to have to fix. And like the ink smeared, but I kind of like it like that. 
the key, um, it's got to do slash task for a little bullet point. An empty bullet point is an event or appointment, and the exclamation mark is something that's important. I'm kind of going to be doing this binder like a bullet journal, so so that's fun. Let's see what the next page is. Goals page. All right, and I'm going to going to lift this up so you can't see what's underneath because it's showing through because the pages are so thin. This is my goals page. Um, after this, I have a birthdays page, and that has personal information on it, so I'm not going to really show you what it is, but it looks just like the goals page, except it says birthdays, and it has the birthdays listed with their names. Um, on the goals, you can see I have uh, things listed for a tiny house trailer, vacation envelope, and cash savings. Like These are like savings goals. I'll have other goals on here soon, but... You're going to see a whole lot of tiny house uh, savings goals and stuff like that. I am planning on building a tiny house in the very near future. Um, I'm trying to save up for the money for the trailer right now. I have relatives who are willing to pay for parts of the bill and such like that. So I have a lot of planning going on in my life and a lot of it is around my tiny house right now. Everything's a little crazy right now and this binder is going to help me organize it a bit better. So yeah. So whenever you see something about the tiny house, I'll, sh I'll talk more about it later on, but I'm trying to build a little house on top of a trailer, and it's like a structurally sound, it's more stable than like a, mo a regular mobile home and stuff, and look up like tiny house on wheels and you'll see what I'm talking about, so that's what that is. We're going to ignore the birthdays page, and um, the very next page is my planned purchases. These are any big upcoming purchases that I'm planning on making. Big is anything more than like $20 purchases, I guess. I don't know. Um, these are just things that I want to plan for in my budget ahead, way ahead of time. Things that I know are coming up that are bigger items. So that way I don't forget about them and stuff like that. So the only thing I have on here right now is a Google SketchUp course, which I think is about 30 bucks that I'm planning on buying. And that's just so I can have a little bit easier time trying to design my tiny house because I kind of know how to use Google SketchUp, but I'm not really great at it. And I want to learn more because I really do like designing things, making floor plans and all that. So I figured that will help me and that's why I'm planning on buying it. I think that's about 30 bucks. So we're going to see about that in the near future, hopefully. Um, okay, so the next page is my tiny house budgeting page. I estimated all of my costs based off somebody else's budget for their tiny house. It's tiny house giant journey. I kind of based it off hers. Now, I live in an area where the living wage, or average wage, I guess you could say, is very much lower than, like, in the north. I, I live in the south, so, like, all of our costs are a lot lower. So, it's going to be a, quite a bit different in the, how much everything's costing me. On top of that, I've overestimated for a lot of things. And my father works in a building supply retail type deal. So, I'm going to get a discount on a lot of these items. So, these aren't the exact costs of everything. This is just me making a general estimate of how much money I have to save. And again, I'm not the one who's paying for all of this. I'm trying to pay for as much of it as I can. I'm trying to save up as much money as possible, but this isn't everything that I'm paying for. Like a general estimation of all the budgeting. Right now, I'm mainly trying to save up for the trailer for me to actually buy, like build the house on top of. Um, that's the most important thing to me right now. And that's going to be like one of the most expensive right off the bat things that I have to pay for. I'm also designing the house myself, but I want to get like the plans like architecturally certified, whatever the heck you want to call that. I want to have an architect look them over, um, someone who's like an actual contractor or like legally in the business. So I can have actual plans set up that are like, you know, to code and everything. So here I have my tiny house tracker, which I was so excited to make the other day. This is just like a little rough doodle of a tiny house, a basic tiny house with like a weird roof thing made out of pen. This is a little coloring in sheet, so every single time I meet a goal, I can fill it in. Basically, one square up is $1,000. Right up here, you can see that the trailer is $4,000 because it's four squares. Um, this is these 16 squares represent the actual house structure, how much those costs, and then like the furniture I want to fill in and stuff like 1000 for the entire roof so when I color the solid that's a thousand dollars um so yeah that's my savings tracker I figured I can color it in rainbow and it'll just be like a little fun thing to keep track of when I start doing my budgeting and everything like that on this channel so here you can see I have my Pokemon trading card game sales I'm trying to sell Pokemon cards on eBay I'm just getting into it I've been trying to figure out all of my estimated expenses when it comes to packaging postage tax anything like that for the most more expensive cards I'm trying to send them these type packages. 
but like I also have to pay for sleeves and there's also some cardboard in here <laughs> to protect it so it doesn't bend and whatnot so I'm trying to figure out the best way to package and ship them for the cheapest amount of money but just for the same amount that the customer can receive tracking and they know where their package is and everything's safe and secure I'm trying to figure out the ways to cheap, uh, ship out cheaper cards because the most important thing is that the customer has some kind of certificate of mailing or something like that because then they, I, they know that I have shipped out their package they, they can track it because they I don't want them just saying, oh hey, by the way. I didn't get my cards, you know, you, you owe me money back. Type deal, you know what I mean? You guys get it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, if I were to just ship the package straight off at the post office, just like this, it's gonna cost me almost $4 which is not fun. <laughs> We're not doing that, honey. Um, so I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to print off the eBay shipping label, which I see a lot of people doing where it's cheaper than actually going down to the post office to get it. So yeah, the next page is actually some work notes. My next thing is my shopping list, which is oh so important to me. This page is probably going to get changed out a whole lot. <laughs> I already have two things on here I have to buy. Um, and I just made this. And I have a wish list, and these are things that I would like to buy in the future that are a little bit more expensive. It's not really a planned purchase, it's just things that I want to get eventually, and I like to have them on my mind. Not necessarily planning to purchase them, purchase them immediately, these are just like, you know, your wish list. The next thing I actually have is my month of June. And here's where I'll be doing my June check-in, well not my June check-ins, it's not June every month, Allie. Um, this is where I'll be doing my monthly check-ins and stuff like that. And I figured I could go over my month of June right about now. So get this out of the way and have a video up. Um, up at the top, you can see I have the actual name of the month. And I also have the year. But right here, I have a New York trip. And that's because I have to go up to New York here at the end of June. I have to figure out the exact dates we're leaving and returning. But I have to make sure I have money set aside for that trip. I should have it, not this paycheck that's coming up, but I should have another paycheck, which I'm setting aside for that, which probably won't be as much money because I'll be getting off for those days. But... We're going to see how that goes. I'm hoping to be able to set aside plenty of money for that trip because we're going all the way up to New York. So over here is the main part of the month of June, which is my goals for this month. Um, where it says like study the World Wars book and take notes and stuff. I am no longer in high school. Technically, I'm graduating this month. Um, I mean, I've already graduated. I just, I'm homeschool. I was homeschooled, so we had to send for my diploma and stuff. So it's an entire process. But for right now, technically, I'm graduated. I just, I'm not going to college for another year or two because I'm building my tiny house. So since that's my top priority, I still want to have my mind fresh and always learning and such. So I'm trying to like read history books and stuff like that and hopefully keep my brain sharp. <laughs> and I'd like to work on a whole lot of math over the summer and into um, fall because I'm not the greatest math quiz and it's something I wish was my stronger suit so <laughs> um we're already halfway through 2019 because it's June now so that's that's cool <laughs> um the next thing on here is my I need to finish my art commission now this is a biggie because I've had this art commission just waiting for forever I need to get this done as soon as possible that's actually like my number one priority I probably should be making like a little exclamation mark right here it's like a violet color. No, I need like, I need like a pen. Need okay. Um, I need to finish that art commission as soon as possible because the person has been waiting way too long on that. Um, so many things have happened and I just, it's, it, there's no excuse for how long they've been waiting for that art commission. And I normally like to have my art commissions done within two weeks and I try to get them done in a few days if possible. Um, I used to be pumping them out every three days, but because of so many life events and there's no excuse for that No matter what somebody paid for something and they should have it. So I'm trying to get it done They're a very patient person. Thank gosh, and they've been my friend for a very long time, but I'm trying to get that done for them as soon as possible um, I also have to stick to June 8th's budget. Oh my gosh I've been keeping my money inside my checking account for too long because I had some like I was switching over memberships and stuff like that and hey, I was like doing a lot of banking things and so I had to deposit all my savings into my checking account for a while and that was not a good thing because that made me go over budget because I'm te very tempted whenever I have my debit card on me knowing that there's money in there available so 
It's why I try to stick to cash budgeting, but <sighs> life happens, people. Life happens. So I did go over budget, way over budget, and I dipped into a lot of savings that I really shouldn't have, which I do really regret and I'm a little bit embarrassed about, but you know what? We're getting back on top. We're doing, we're planning out our life again. We're trying to get everything fixed. I really want to stick to my new budget this week, <laughs> um, and it's probably going to need some tweaking, which you guys will see in the next video, which I think is actually just on the very next, okay, it's not the very next page, but... It's going to need some tweaking, but we're going to get there. I'm going to try and stick to the new budget and get things sorted out. Um, I want to open up an Ally Bank savings account because they have daily compound interest and their annual percentage rate, I believe APR stands for, <laughs> um, is 2.2% on, on their savings accounts, which is huge. <laughs> so I really want to open up an Ally Bank savings account and deposit at least $100 into that account. As soon as possible this month um yeah so that's one of my bigger goals and i also want to upload a video to youtube because i keep putting this off i keep getting nervous i'm i'm not good with talking when like on a video when i know there's somebody else in the house so like right now i'm recording when there's nobody in the house thank gosh but i get very nervous and stuff so which is kind of sad because i used to record a lot of videos back in the day so trying to get back into youtube that's one of my goals because I, this is something i enjoy doing you know and want to have that. So the other item on here, which is like one of the lesser goals, but I still want to get done, is I want to create one, a Redbubble item. I used to have a Redbubble store. I used to have a lot of sales on it. Um, well, not a whole lot of sales, but um, my big problem is I do a lot of fan art, which didn't really work out because of Redbubble's terms and conditions. So I want to get into Redbubble doing original artworks, and that's going to be a little complicated, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We're going to try this month, hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't get put off till next month, but it probably will be. <laughs> um, the last thing on here is the events. Any of my events, I'll put at the bottom of my pages. Like, this is the summer reading program, and I have the days listed. Like, today was one of them. Um, they didn't really need my help this today because a lot of kids didn't show up because it was rainy, but also because there was supposed to be, like, a busload of kids that came in, but they didn't because there was problems with the buses. So, next week... In the week after that and the week after that, the next three weeks are going to be crazy because they're going to have 90 more kids. So while they didn't need as much of my help this week, they're going to need it in the future. So we're going to see how that goes. Um, we're not going to go over my budget um, until next week. I mean, until in a few days. So for right now, the very last page on here is my notes. This is any notes I may have over the month that I have to jot stuff down, keep track of my appointments and whatnot. So, yeah. Um. So I do budgeting from cash envelopes and I use the mama's got a budget cash envelopes I have five of hers um I got a savings one for any of my cash savings I got one for the car hopefully this is all still in focus that would suck <laughs> I got one for um a car envelope a uh, house personal and spending and so let me go over these in a second here um, the other things I have in here is an investing buffer and just, like, a Walmart envelope. Um, I want to get more Mama's Got a Budget video. um, wow, I want to get more Mama's Got a Budget videos. I want to get more cash envelopes from her because her envelopes are gorgeous, and right now I'm just using, like, these extra paper ones because I have nowhere else to put the money. I should totally get them, and I'll probably link her down below, even though she's, like, my... My video is probably not going to be nearly as much to get her some advertising in there because, you know, I don't really have a whole lot of followers at the moment, but we're going to work with it. <laughs> um, the savings envelope is for any of my cash savings. Um, this could be for, like, even if it's, like, a small savings. Like, for a while, I was using this for, like, my prom week that I was saving up for. So, this is for any kind of cash savings I have to have on hand. This one is for the car. Now, I don't currently own my own personal car. We have two different family cars that I use, and I do put money towards fuel. So, at the moment, I don't have to worry about that, but I am going to have to get a car eventually, so hopefully this will eventually become my savings for car, because I'd, I'd rather actually buy a car outright than put down a down payment or anything like leasing like that. So, I'm a debt-free girl. I want to stay that way. <laughs> So, um, yeah, this is going to eventually be my savings for the car, but for right now, I put aside money every week or every two weeks for fuel, because even though my family does pay for a lot of the gas, I like to put money towards it because I use, I drive everywhere, so I like to put money towards it just to be, you know, nice. <laughs> the other envelope I have is for the house. 
Now this is a very tricky envelope because right now I'm saving up for my tiny house so you'd think I'd keep all my money in here and I kind of do but it's just kind of tricky because this can also be for any household items that I might need inside my room right now. Whoops, I just dropped. Oh. Um, like just recently I, brought a, I bought a dresser and I would have taken the money out of here if it wasn't in my checking. So if I needed any room items or anything like that, it would go in here. But for right now, I'm trying to save up and buy a tiny house. So everything's a little everywhere at the moment, but this is just a general house envelope. Personal, which is a very nice little cute envelope. I love her. I love Mama's Got a Budgets envelopes. I mean, they're gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. These are like Zodiac themed and like starry and like night sky and whatnot. And I love them. So that's like my entire thing in life. <laughs> for any toiletries or anything I might need. Um, beauty, uh, personal care, stuff like that. Um, my spending envelope is my entire allowance. That includes eating out. Um, if I need to buy any clothing, I might put it in the personal, but normally I'd probably put it in spending. Um, any kind of eating out or like going down to the movie theater or anything like that, that all goes into my spending envelope. So these are all my little envelopes and they all fit perfectly in my wallet, which I don't have here at this moment. It's on the other side of the room, which I'm not going to go get because I am lazy. But these all fit into my little wallet, which you guys will hopefully see here soon. And yeah, they're really cute, but I also tend to keep them inside the Mama's Got a Budget paper here. At least like the ones that I like to keep at home because they have a lot of money in them at, the at certain times. So those are my cash envelopes. I'll be doing a budgeting video here very, very soon. Hopefully within the next day or two. And I think that's everything. So I'm really excited because this is something I really wanted to do for a long time. And I'm finally getting into YouTube and everything. And I think this is the first time I did a video where it, like, the camera didn't fall over or something didn't go wrong, horribly wrong, you know? And hopefully I don't jinx it right now. But yes, I'm very excited. I'm very excited to do this series with you guys. And I hope you enjoyed. So I'll see you all later. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.